We're here with Coach Bob Crank talking about the uh, preseason preview here for the KU women's volleyball team. Coach, GLVC preseason poll just came out today. The Hawks were picked sixth in the West. What does this team have to say about the ranking coming into the season? Well, it's obviously a preseason ranking, so it's um, it's just one of those things to give us an idea of where everybody's at. Uh, but no one's played each other yet, so it's not something we're really, really concerned about. Um, no one's seen our, our new team, uh, our new players. So it, it gives everybody a good idea where we think we might fall in, but preseason rankings are just that. It's, it's just an idea of where people might fall. So it's not something we're going to take a lot of stock in. Um, we, we, know, we feel like we're, we're better than that, but we have to go out and prove that, and we have to show what we're capable of. So uh, we'll, we'll see how things play out once we actually start matches. You have four seniors on your roster. Talk to us a little bit about the leadership of those four seniors. Well, especially, you know, the biggest thing for me is Sam and Bree, Sam Hegley and Bree Joslin. Those are two fifth-year seniors. So um, not only are they seniors, but they're fifth-year seniors and they're captains. So those two especially, the leadership that comes from those two are incredibly important for our team. Uh, Sam's been a captain for a number of years. Carly also. Um, and, and Summer has, has been here and knows what she's doing. So uh, those four really provide a great depth of intelligence and maturity for our team. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited about our leadership. Uh, obviously looking forward, losing two fifth-year seniors is going to be a big hit to our maturity. But, um, you know, we've been working a lot with the younger players and the, the captains have actually took on a junior leadership role and inviting some of our freshmen and sophomores into some of their meetings so that they can kind of start passing on that maturity and that leadership. So that's been impressive. So uh, while we're losing four really, really great seniors, um, we, we feel they're doing a great job of passing on what it means to be a senior and a captain for the younger players. You have nine lettermen returning this year. Talk to us a little bit about the experiences that those lettermen picked, picked up last year and also just kind of the depth of the, of the team this year. Well, the, our depth of talent is, is really impressive. And since I've gotten here, we've talked a lot about just the competitiveness within our own gym. So um, the returners did an amazing job over last spring and this summer to make sure that they came in in really great shape. Uh, all of our returners are playing some impressive volleyball, and they're playing some of the best volleyball of their careers right now, which we really needed them to do. We needed our returners to work hard last spring, work hard over the summer, and come in prepared to to be competitive and they've done an extremely great job uh, Taylor Jacobs our assistant coach did an amazing job over the spring with our weight training program so we feel really good about where our returners are uh, and they needed to be in a competitive situation prepared for our incoming class because it's pretty talented so we're excited about where our maturity level is just in general with our program, but our returners did a great job working out all spring and summer to be prepared for this fall. And then you have six newcomers. You touched on that a little bit. Five freshmen. Go through this recruiting class and the kind of depth that the Hawks have added after this recruiting class. Yeah, it's it's really kind of an impressive class. Um, you know, we've got five freshmen and we've got one junior college transfer that came in. Um, you know, all six of these newcomers that are here in our gym this fall, they're all really talented. They're all fighting immediately. They're all improving our team immediately. That was w one of the biggest factors we were looking for from this recruiting class was this entire class had to immediately impact our roster and our competitiveness the moment they stepped in our gym. And they have definitely done that. Um, and we brought in two pretty big middles, Bobby Eastman and Jessica Lacurgo. Uh, they're both, you know, six one, six two. Played for pretty good clubs. Um, you know, they're they're in the they're in the mix. Both of those freshmen are kind of fighting for time with each other, and it's great to see them compete with each other. Um, you know, the other freshman, Miranda Rodriguez, a center out of the Chicago area. Uh, you know, that was an issue that we had to address from last year was our setting situation, and she's come in and really done a great job of elevating our offense the moment she got here and Rachel Shores one of the freshman liberos she came in and she's been really impressive and stabilized some of our serve receive and doing a great job defensively um, Kayla Hamilton the junior college transfer uh, she's a player that kind of came late to us but she's been in the gym she's got a great arm she's 
working through some technical um, development, but she's she's competitive in our gym. And then the last freshman we want to talk about is Becca Rabel, and uh, she's been extremely impressive. Um, you know, we've got Bree Joslin, who is a two-time first-team all-conference player, one of the best pure hitters in the conference. And Becca's come in here as a right side and as a defensive blocker has really been able to make Bree play at a level she's never had to play in our gym before. And, and Becca's got a cannon. So it's been pretty cool to see this group of newcomers really, really elevate the level of play in our gym. And then the promotional schedule you had last year was a huge hit. What are some highlights this season that you have on the schedule? Well, I think those are you know two factors for us in getting more people in our gym was one, we got to elevate the level of our play. And, and two, we want to engage the fans more than maybe we had before. So some of the things we've been talking about, you know, uh, superhero night, having people come dress up as superheroes. Uh, obviously, we're going to do our, our annual breast cancer awareness night in October. Um, you know, t-shirt night's always a hit because it's something we do on our opening home opener and we just throw out a bunch of our new shirts. Um, you know, the pizza competition is something we're excited to try this year and develop uh, where we can have local pizza restaurants come in and, and, you know, serve pizza and do a little competition for the town itself. Uh, we're just excited to create a more vibrant atmosphere in our gym for our matches and, and have people not just show up and watch great volleyball, but be engaged by the environment that they're in as well. Coach, you have one word. Describe the 2014 Hawks. Competitive. Um, that's been the word we've been searching and, and striving for since I came here. Um, you know, as a coach, we talk about the gap between our most competitive player and our least competitive player, and that's something we always want to go in one direction with. We always want the team to strive to be more like the most competitive player in our gym. And with players like Sam and Bree, who are extremely competitive, um, we wanted everyone else in our gym to elevate their competitiveness and our gym right now, it, it's interesting. We're, you know, we're in, we're quite a ways into our preseason, and and the coaching staff, we're still searching for the right lineup. Uh, but the great part about that is everybody in our gym's competing for time. Everybody in our gym's competitive in every drill we do. Um, so I think that's the biggest word for us right now is how competitive we are in our own gym. And when we're doing that, that's going to lead to a much better competitive environment when we get into matches against our conference. I mean, the GLBC is one of the toughest conferences in the country, so uh, we're, we're going to be playing teams that played in the national tournament last year that are in the top 25 rankings this year. Um, you know, our first, our first season opener, we're in Florida at Palm Beach Atlantic, and the first day of our opening season, we're playing Eckert and we're playing Palm Beach Atlantic, and those are two teams that played in the national tournament last year, and they're in or receiving votes for the top 25, so Competitive is our word this year, and we're fighting to be as competitive as possible, and, and we really like where we're at. Thank you very much, Coach. Absolutely.